I am Stevie T. Thank you for joining me today. So in my last video, we took a look at some songs that many people believe to have subliminal messages when you play the songs backwards. And we had a lot of fun testing them out to see if they were true or not. It was just the fun video. Well, guess what? The fun is over. Now we're gonna get to the downright evil stuff. Because today, we're gonna take a look at some songs that have been accused of having satanic messages in them when you play them backwards. Otherwise called backmasking. And then we're gonna test out these songs to see if they Here we go! Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. The lights do it to me. The lights do it to me. So as I was saying, we're gonna take a look at some of these satanic songs, and then we're gonna put them to the test to see if the accusations are true. So let me just open up my laptopage, and we'll get right down to business. The first song we're gonna look at is by a little known band called The Eagles, with their song, Hotel California. Welcome to the Hotel California Such a lovely place, such a lovely place, such an ugly face now at the end of the second verse, leading into the chorus, we have the line, in the middle of the night, just to hear them say. Now they say when you play that line backwards, you get this satanic message. Evil. Like, how are you supposed to get anything out of that? All right, I think we have to give this one the vocal test without music. I got good old Mikey the microphone here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the supposed satanic vocals, and then I'm going to reverse that, and when we listen to it, it should sound like the original lyrics again. And if it doesn't, we can safely conclude that this song does not have satanic messages. So let's test it out. Yeah, Satan hears this. He had me believe in him. Reverse. And review. <laughs> what? That doesn't sound anything like in the middle of the night just to hear them say. That was like some foreign language or something. So I'm burying the hatchet on this one too. The eagles laying down satanic messages. I'm not buying it. Now even an innocent rock band like Styx is being accused of having satanic messages. Wait, let me... You mean to tell me that the band that sings Come sail away, come sail away, come sail away with me has satanic messages in their songs? Like... Come, come on, guys. But that's what they're accused of in their song, Snowblind. And in this song, they sing the line, try so hard to make it so. I try so hard to make it so. And when you play that backwards, you apparently get this satanic message. You know what, this one doesn't sound too far off, though I'm still skeptical. Because to me it sounds more like he said, Satan move through our voices. Like what is a voisage? It's definitely French. So let's give this one the vocal test and see what we get. Satan move through our voisage. Okay, so now we'll reverse that and see what we got. <laughs> okay, one more time, one more time. So much for try so hard. Alright, and since this one sounds totally incoherent in our vocal test, we have to conclude that this one is also BS. Now there's something I want to record just to hear it backwards. I've always wanted to know what this sounds like backwards. And 
reverse. <laughs> I just had to test that out. I apologize. And the next song is by Soundgarden, which, rest in peace Chris Cornell, you're a legend. And you're especially a legend for coming up with this song called 665. Like, obviously they're making a mockery of all this satanic subliminal messages by calling their song 665 instead of 666. So in their song 665, there's a lot of obvious backwards vocals. It sounds just like mumbling. But now when you play that backwards, you get some hilarious, intentional subliminal messaging. <laughs> I love you, Santa baby! Soundgarden doesn't have satanic messages in their song. They have santanic messages in their songs. You know, I want to do a little experiment. You know when you play vocals backwards, they have this distinctive sound to them. They sound like something like that. What if I recorded that and played it backwards? Would it sound like I was speaking normal English? Let's try it out. Alright, so let's reverse that and we'll see if we get any coherent language here. <laughs> okay, apparently not, but it was worth a try. I was hopeful. Now there's a black metal band called Behemoth. Now apparently when you play Behemoth music forwards, you get satanic messages. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Um, Behemoth is a black metal band. Obviously, they're gonna have satanic messages. And the last song we're gonna be looking at is the most well-known subliminal message song in history. Stairway to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. Now, legend has it, if you play this verse backwards, you get these satanic messages. And again, a lot of that is incoherent, especially that last part. There was a little tool shed. I didn't hear that at all. I heard there was a little tushy, he made a supper sassy. See, what if my interpretation is the correct one? No one will ever know. But hey, we'll give this one the benefit of the doubt and give this one the vocal test as well. Oh, here's to my sweet Satan. The one whose little path would make me sad, whose power is Satan. He'll give those with him 666. There was a little tool shed where he made us suffer sad Satan. So there we go. Now we'll just reverse that. So let's play it and see what we got. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, wouldn't you know it, once again, that sounds nothing like the original verse. So to all those people who think Led Zeppelin has satanic messages in their music, you guys are smoking a little too much marijuana. Because I think we've proven today that whatever someone may hear in backwards lyrics, it's purely coincidental. 
It's all up to everyone's individual interpretation. But what do you think? I'd love to hear your opinion. Do you think there's any truth to these subliminal messages? Or do you think these people just need to find new hobbies? So comment below and let me know what you think. So as always, thanks so much for joining me. I love you guys. Please click here to subscribe for a lot more content and I will be happy to bring it to you. So I will see you guys next time. Oh, yeah,